I, I actually, on one of my skinnies when I was losing weight, yeah. right. I, uh, I was going to the gym late at night after spots, and I, I'd lost some weight, and I was walking home with like a wife beater on. I was kind of feeling good, you know? And I saw this uh, trans girl, there was a trans bar over there, and she stopped, like way down, she stopped. And I saw her look at me, and I was walking, like here comes my compliment, right? And as I walked up, she's like, damn, daddy. You fat. <laughs> ah. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. I'm telling you right now, you know me, that I go to therapy. I believe in therapy. Everybody needs somebody to talk to, somebody neutral to talk to. You can't white knuckle life. That's the old way. Now, you need to work out your brain. Just like you go to the gym and you eat right, you need to do that with your mind. How do you do that? by talking to somebody. You need to find somebody that you connect with, and it's so easy to do now. Back in the day, you had to go into the city, wait in a lobby, maybe you see somebody you know, kind of embarrassing. Takes up most of your day, at least three hours. Now, right online, at your house, switch therapists whenever you want. Betterhelp.com. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash dude today. Get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dude. This episode is brought to you by GhostBed. I'm telling you, the thing that I really know is that you need a good night's sleep. If you're exhausted, if you messed up, it's, it's not going to be good for my shows. It's not going to be good for productivity. It's not going to be good for all the podcasting I do. I need to get sleep. You need to get shut eye to get your A game. That's why comedian or not, doesn't matter whatever you do, a good mattress is really important to sleep well and perform your best. For over two decades, the team at GhostBed has been making super high quality mattresses with premium materials and patented cooling features so you sleep better, cooler, and more comfortable from the moment your head hits the pillow. Take advantage of free shipping, a 101 night mattress sleep trial, and financing starting at $35 a month. Most orders ship within 24 hours so you can start sleeping better this week. I'm telling you, this mattress is awesome. I have them in my house. You got to go take advantage of this sponsor. Listeners can get 40% off all products site-wide. You get 40% off mattresses, adjustable bases, and bedding accessories, or you can get 50% off when you bundle a mattress with an adjustable base. Use promo code YKWD at ghostbed.com slash YKWD for 40% off site-wide. Limited time only. Yeah, baby. We're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKWD. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKWD podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school. Back in the day. Where it all started. Before them all. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the ball damn it, man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. What's up, fuckers? You know what, dude? Give it up for everybody. Tommy, Mark, and Joey. Come on, give it up for them. That gave me chills. That was the biggest reception at Skankfest so far. That, that was, was amazing. That was Tommy. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it was good, though. It was fucking amazing. I always fear that we're going to come out here and there's going to be like four dudes that look like me <laughs> and one woman that looks like you. <laughs> I got to be honest. I, I didn't know you had this in you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was going to be empty? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> These cocksuckers couldn't get into skanks. That's why they're here. <laughs> fucking ass. Roseanne is right next door, you fucking assholes. Uh, we've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> seen what? He's <laughs> got a whole flat earth TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're here. I mean, look it, man. Let's just. I got a present for you. For me? Yeah. What is it? I got a fucking gift, man. Another and tranny? I... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Bring her out. Bring her out. Bring her out. 
trans okay. woman. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. Jeez. I forgot you guys got, are in love. I got a, uh, a gift for you. Because I love you so much, man. I'm so proud of you. I really am. I'm so fucking proud of you. I know this is going to be, it's going to be a t-shirt with an insult. No, it's it. not. It's a fucking, okay. it's letting people know what the fuck. <laughs> Just hold it up. <laughs> You're going to, this is for back when you get to New York so you can work again. <laughs> Joe's not gay. Joe's not gay. Joe's not gay. Yes, I am. A little bit, <laughs> at least. Again, I'm going to wear this shirt ironically. Dude. Oh, come on. That's a, that's a bigger lie than Hassan Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Can you, you please just pull you throw it on right now? <laughs> come on. <laughs> for, the, for the branding, you know what I mean? The, uh, all right, look, what is I'll this? Take it all. All right. He's got to go in the other room because he can't take his shirt off here. No, 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 no. Fuck. I just had blue cheese. <laughs> you, <laughs> Joe, you do, you do <laughs> smell like salami. <laughs> <laughs> it fits. It, of course it fits. I got Look a, at that. Wow. I got a, I got a, I got a female large. <laughs> if you just open that bag, that shirt just said, "Dude." <laughs> the guy, the guy wouldn't write, "Dude." <laughs> he wouldn't. <laughs> he I wouldn't write, "Dude." <laughs> I got you, press. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it's weird, dude. Listen. Yeah. Because I, I can't. <laughs> You, this is a thing that's been happening for years. If you listen to YKWD, back in the day when I did it at my house, before any of you cocksuckers had podcasts, it was me and Joe, and we did it in my yeah. kitchen, and uh, I brought Bailey J, who is a, I mean, a smoking hot transsexual, and she came to my house. I actually uh, got in touch with her husband, and... Uh, they came to my house and I told Joe that <laughs> I told Joe that I'm having this uh, the Bailey J over. He came over. He got dressed up. Uh, I'm not kidding. He wore fucking shoes. He, whoa, shoes. I took a vest. Did you have a vest? Oh, I think he had a vest. He wore shoes. He wore, no, but he wore like, like shiny <laughs> oh, dress shoes. Oh, shoes. Oh, wow. Like dress shoes. He came fucking. He looked like an English detective. <laughs> <laughs> and he came uh, dressed up. I was so excited. It was so excited. I was so excited to meet her, and, and <laughs> I knew she was having drinks, and I was, gonna, I was like, we're going to get drunk, and I'm going to suck her dick. <laughs> and then as soon as I walked in, you go, hey, dude, Bailey J, and this is her husband, and you took such joy <laughs> in the reveal that she was married, and I couldn't try to hook up with her. Because, such because your disappointment yeah. was so pure. He went, what the fuck? Because you didn't think they could get married. Because <laughs> you were against that. <laughs> I was. Uh... Remember my wife? My wife <laughs> made sausage soup. Yes. How <laughs> funny is that? That is funny. Like a bitch. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. And then, Nor and then Norton like came over. sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> then Norton came over and she fucking loved Norton. That bothered you too. Oh, it did. Yeah, he really stole that fucking it sexy. Did. She mail right away from you. I know. And it was back when Norton actually looked like a nutsack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before he got in shape. You had the same feeling when you're in a club and all the open micers were on you, but then Billy walks in. Uh. <laughs> but it's weird to me, dude, because you've been, this is like the, yesterday when I saw you, like, I did it. I finally did it. You were like Rudy. I did it. I, I finally fucking grabbed a dick. Okerson, yes. Yeah. Okerson said, that's not the first time I grabbed a dick. That's the first time I've what? Se centrally grabbed a dick. I don't know what that means. What? I've touched almost every guy friend of mine's dick as a joke. I've yeah. grabbed Ar I grabbed Ari's dick so many times. Ar Ari's dick doesn't count. I grabbed Ari's dick so many times. We were bar crawling one day in the summer. I grabbed his dick so many times 
that I eventually, I offended Ari, that wow. fucking animal. He, I li- by, by like the third bar, he goes, dude, seriously, that's enough, stop. Wow, you reverse Kobe'd him. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm gonna get me too, it's yeah. gonna be my Shafir. Oh, jeez, thank you. <laughs> Have you, but Tommy, because you're Thank from you. Philly, he's I, from Philly, but it's two different guys, right? I you've sex, never, you've I never sex grabbed tra- I had Shane? sex with Shane. Oh, you had, you had sex with Shane? By accident. Really, by accident? Truly. Really? Yeah. Who did who? <laughs> well, I did. Uh, you were the top? Yeah. Yeah, you just fucked a retarded boy? <laughs> <laughs> When he comes, does he go like this? But I fucking uh, did. Uh, dude. Me coming out, I'm woke, dude. I'm one of them. I am. You've touched your friend's conks? No, I had sex with a, a worker. I'm sorry, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> All my friends are gay. I would have been gay too, years ago. Uh, dude, it's you're Tommy, right now. Tommy tries so hard to act like he has class in public. I do not, Because he still Joe? has the dream of what? landing a progressive commercial you know with what his I'm gonna head. do? I'm gonna uh, <laughs> stare into who you are, you fucking soon pig. I'm gonna grab your dick every time you pass. Grab it right now, <laughs> fucking fuck, Jesus straight Christ. Go ahead. Let's take it a is step a, further. Is this a roast show? Is that no, it's not a roast show. This is a are gay podcast. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Have you really, I, I just don't see you. I did. I don't see you as a guy. Well, was, I came off a show. This girl, a beautiful woman. Girl? For, for the story. Okay, was it a, okay. Visually, a beautiful woman. Yeah. Walks across the street, came out of Helium. It was like 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. She's like, hey, you have a light? And I was like, what? <laughs> like, that's weird. And I was like, are you working? She's like, yes. And I was like, I don't have anywhere to go. And she says, I do. We went to a, <laughs> for some reason, an open, dirty bookstore. <laughs> mm. right. Chestnut. What do you think, she owned it? <laughs> I love, I love the only thing that could get you into a bookstore is a swinging diggling. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Joe, 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 Joe. <laughs> no, there was, and then, uh, <laughs> Hold on! Ah, uh, your dumb Philly myself. accent bugs me. And Hold then on. We went to this this store, and then the back it was backlit, and there was a security guard. Yeah. And I was like, this is fucking strange. <laughs> and they had little dirty booths where you like you, you go to like a jerk off booth, you throw a dollar in, whack off. I took this beautiful woman into the booth. Yeah. And I go to put dollars in. Yeah. This machines is not working. Right. I had a quarter on me. <laughs> I swear to God, threw quarters in, you could hear it rattle down the fucking drywall. Fake, it's all fake, and it's dark. So we started doing stuff. Well, wait a minute. I wasn't prepared to tell this story. I mean, you had it, was there a thing? Was there a wall, a, 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 a piece of glass? No, it's a, it's a fucking, it's a booth. You're, you're in the booth with her? I'm in the booth with her. She came in with you? Yes. What'd and you she, put the quarter in if she was right there? Well, she's she's having fun. She's I, having fun on I you. Wanna, I want to have fun. Was it I love, head? All, Did I you love, get head? Yeah. Oh, nice. But so, so you got head from her? Yes. Did you touch her wingy? I didn't know. Listen, stop. Yeah, you, stop. you knew. I love all, I did it. That's the point. Yeah, you did. Uh, I, I did not know. Look, look at me in the eyes. <laughs> Look at me in the eyes. I'll fucking... Look, don't look at me. I'll, I don't look away. You want to bet look money away. on this? I don't want to bet. Stop I'll, with your guinea. Want to bet fucking money? Listen. No, I'll, I'll put fucking 10 grand look on the line Look in my eyes. In my eyes. And don't, was don't blink. So don't, hot. Stop talking. You're fucking talking. That's a sign of guilt. Look at my... Don't touch... <laughs> nah, you're guilty. You touched the dick. You touched the dick. Look no, at me. I had me. no idea. Look at me. Do you know how Look I at out? me. Stop talking. All Just right. stop. All Relax. All right. Look at, look at me. <laughs> Don't take a drink. Fucking no. <laughs> Put that down, dry mouth. Look at me. The Eagles won in overtime. <laughs> Fuck I, you. He's trying to fucking make you go that way. He touched well, the hall. Well, got news, Tommy. She's here. Come on out. <laughs> Come on in, He's Roseanne. Just like, you fuck me? <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe walks in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy. My point is, Tommy <laughs> was getting blown. He's getting blown, going like this. If you don't see her dick, it's not really there. If I didn't see her dick, it's not really there. Oh, that's, a, that's a hard cover. <laughs> the, the, 
I got how did you know? Got, how well, did you know it was? It was dark. Yeah. Yeah. We're having fun doing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she had calluses on her hands from her, 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 her day job as a She's construction got a hard worker. Hat on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I felt a uh, something. You and felt I what? Bugged the fuck out. What? You felt what? Well, she turned around. She. Uh, yeah, she. Yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> I really God. love the way you tell stories. I it's wish I didn't subtle. do this at all. So they turned around and you fucking reached in the stomach. They? The, oh, you're... Yeah, they, they them. them. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. you. Yeah, I'm not yeah. getting canceled. Yeah. <laughs> no, are you two queers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, so you grabbed, there was a little sack or something? No, I felt a swipe. You, you, you swiped it? You licked it? I felt a swipe. You licked it? No. Oh, you felt a swipe. Yeah. What's a swipe? <laughs> Sweat. You hear that? Everybody knows. When a speckle of the cum hits you in the eye. <laughs> Guys, <Nope>. I'm gay. <laughs> I wanted to come out right now. That's great. That's yeah. great. So I, you did it. You, you yeah. fight, Mark, you've never done it. Uh, wait, are we talking trans? Yeah. I got blown by Let's one. go! Yeah. Let's go! They're sneaky. You don't fucking know. They're sneaky. They're fucking sneaky. Totally. And they're beautiful these days. Whoa. Stop acting like they're trolls. They're not sneaky. <laughs> what are they're you they're Dude. girls that have this penises. Is, yeah, I'm not going to be fucking shamed for hooking up with a I'm hot I'm not shamed. I, <laughs> they're, they're not trolls, but sometimes the pronouns is like a riddle. I, 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 I can't figure it out. But yeah, I was in Mexico. I was in college. Oh, I like this, dude. Uh, I like this. You're good. That was a good one, dude. Oh, thanks. She, you're her, in they, Mexico. them. Yo, you're... It's a lot. But yeah, I, got, I was in Mexico for... for uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck are you doing? Sorry, dude. Dude, he's, don't he's do that. Wood. Yeah, so uh, all my friends were hooking up with hookers, and I was like, ah, I was too nervous. And, and that's I boring. Said, yeah. <laughs> And I said, fuck it, I'm doing it the last night, but I'm just going to get a BJ. Went to a bar. The girl said, uh, five bucks. And I said, all right. And then, of course, the room is five. She's got a fee. So I ended up paying 20. But I'm getting head. Great at it. I grab a boob. Rock hard. Right. Rock hard tit. I was like, that's weird. I put my hand on her head. The fucking, the whole hair moved. <laughs> and uh, The yarmulke slid. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, yeah. The burka. <laughs> and then I... <laughs> And then I came, and I walked out feeling pretty good, and all my friends were like, were you in there? And I was like, yeah, and they all died laughing. <laughs> and that was it. It was a quiet eight-hour eight, eight hour car ride home. So you never, you never saw the penis? No, no. You just assumed? Just the Adam's apple and the beard. <laughs> but it was a trans bar, I guess. Oh, you went to a trans bar. I didn't know. So all your friends did too, right? No, they were at other straight lady bars. Oh, so you were like, fuck that, I'm gonna go to the gay bar? I didn't know, it's in Spanish, it said transo. I, I couldn't, uh, <laughs> I, how could I know? I'm gonna get you that shirt. <laughs> transo, <laughs> the worst <laughs> magician <laughs> of all time. Transo, <laughs> I'll make your dick fall off. <laughs> Do you remember when we went, you, me, and Pete Corielli? Went to a, we went to an after hour. We were in the city. And were you there? We were hanging out there, and we went to that drag oh, bar. Shit, I guess I got a story yeah. too. I didn't know you but were there. <laughs> You're the gayest one on this panel. No, well, we, I'm going to tell you the, are the, the gayest. I fucked the real guy, fucking losers. <laughs> well, we went to this drag, <laughs> this drag the queen bar. It I'm was, in the majors. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the minors. Yeah, I sucked the guy's trying dick. Trying to get to your level. Sorry. Pussy. Sorry. No, we went to this, it was late night, we went to this drag queen bar, and I went just because I wanted to go on the bar. Wise, it's called, yeah. in New York, uh, there was a, on uh, 11th Ave, way west side, there was this 24-hour diner, market diner, that was connected to a, uh, a shemale discotheque. So you, we'd all go to the diner every night, and they'd be smoking hot shemales, just, hey, daddy, while you're eating a turkey club, just shaking. <laughs> And me and Coriel used to be like, we got to go there one night. Yeah. One night we were downstairs at, at, late at night, down at the Bagot Inn. And, uh, yeah, we all went. We went like, fuck it, we're going. Yeah. We like mustered up the courage to go. And we went to the bar and we went down. Right. And Coriel is fucking good looking. Yeah. Do you remember what, this is what I was getting to. Do you remember what he said? Yeah. He said the funniest thing ever. It was the greatest line ever. <laughs> yeah, he goes, do you want to say it or can I say it? No, you say it. He goes... 
We're like, let's take a, we're in the air flight. No, you gotta wait though. This girl yeah. and a fucking smoking hot Puerto Rican woman. Yeah. Mesh dress, mesh, mesh. Nothing on it, little patch over her stomach. We see her walk from one side of the room over to Corielli, who's drinking and smoking. And we're like, everybody's like, what the fuck? Walks over to him, talks to him, and then he walks over to us and says, uh, You say the line, because I think I'm going to fuck it up, and I've built it up too much now. He goes, I got to get the fuck out of here. I'm like, Why? Because if I don't leave now, I'm going to suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucking left. <laughs> And me and Joe stay. See? Fucking suck. Now Who's you no? get it. Why the fuck Corey are you busting Ellie, my balls? No joke. Corielli looked like fucking Ted Dance and Cheers years back then. <laughs> yeah. He was fucking gorgeous. I mean, woof, yeah. good looking. Good yeah. looking. I, I actually, on one of my skinnies when I was losing weight, yeah. All right. I, uh, I was going to the gym late at night after spots, and I, I'd lost some weight, and I was walking home with like a wife beater on. I was kind of feeling good, you know? And I saw this uh, trans girl, there was a trans bar over there, and she stopped, like way down, she stopped. And I saw her look at me, and I was walking, like here comes my compliment, right? And as I walked <laughs> up, she's like, damn daddy, you fat. <laughs> <laughs> and I went home, I went home, I was so hurt. That's how you I, know it's a I dude. had a smile, because I was like, yeah, here's the compliment. And I walked by, I just went, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> and I went home and I woke my wife up and I'm like, honey, I'm f I just got rejected. This trans girl just called me fat. She's like, what? I'm like, this female was like, you're fat. She goes, it's a guy. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Insults still the same. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> it did hurt. But let me ask you a question. When yeah. you grab the penis, mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Was it bigger than your penis? <laughs> Leagues above my dick. Really? I, like I think if I did it, I would want my dick. You know what I mean? Right, right. I yeah, would want yeah. like a five and a half incher. That was kind of an interesting thing, like, because I was like, oh, I'm like actually like handling a dick that's not mine. Yeah. But in the in the way that I've handled my own dick. Oh. But I'm like, but it's a different dick. There's, yeah. diff there's different measurements to, to work with here. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Did you ever drive an old truck and you're like, it handles, yeah. it Can't handles find different. Can't right. yeah. yeah. Can't yeah. find neutral? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm used to blasting. Yeah, start breaking drive. early in this yes, thing. Dude, yeah. This ain't a new car. Yeah. You gotta yeah. ease on the brake. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Then at the end, you get that tranny fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Mark, 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 Mark. I mean. <laughs> Dude's a sniper. <laughs> you, you never grabbed another man's dick. I didn't grab the dick. You've I, never I, grabbed I, another man's dick. You're answering a question. Out of, can you not sit like that <laughs> while we're doing this? <laughs> I've never once grabbed a dude. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> My no. dick's inside. You mean like... In, I gotta like, get it fluffed <laughs> if you're gonna grab it. That was <laughs> terrible. I gotta be honest. That dude, was... Tommy, you what? gotta do this to Bobby. What? what? No, no, you gotta no, do no. this to Bobby. I know Please just let him do this. What? This will be funny. No. Tommy was doing a thing to me. We were in the green room at the stand, <laughs> and he kept asking me to do his podcast, yeah. but the joke was he was whispering it into my ear. He would come <laughs> over and really close to something. He'd be like, you want to do my fucking podcast? <laughs> and I go, I go, Tommy, you got to stop doing that because it was giving me chills. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, yeah, but Tommy. Just, it's nice. Just let him do you it. You know so what that can... was? It's, it's about... You're too much of a man, dude. <laughs> what? Uh, this dude, I truly think is the gayest You're going to have some... Nah, because I think I'm attracted to Tommy. You're gonna... <laughs> Let him do this. You're going to have questions no, about I yourself. Fucking... I, I invest my time in being emotionally available for men. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's a hug or a conversation. Right. If you want to say something you mean, get fucking emotional. What do you talk... What do you mean? <laughs> Bob. I have a podcast at eight. Do you want to do it? I do, I do. I do, I do. I'll do whatever you want, Tommy. He feels good in your ear. Uh, Dude, he smells like a man. I know. What do you wear? What? What do you wear? Aftershave? No, I wear the fucking Johnny Depp cologne. You wear Sauvage? Yeah. Because uh, that's trying to get back to being straight. Good. And uh, women. I got to tell you right now. <laughs> women? Yeah, he's a fucking... It incredible. is the core values of this festival. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, I, I, I didn't mean, mean, uh, I, it's weird to me because I grew up in Boston, and and you if, to you talk see the like Patriots this. Game? What you see the Patriots game? 
Anybody got a score? We're going to do this? Yeah, did you see a city get fucking looted? I fucking uh, love that. You love it? I love that. Why do you love that? <laughs> Keep showing your toes, Bob. Keep showing your toes? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm drunk. It's a fucking, your city's yeah, falling the apart, dude. The city sucks. Your city's I'm talking about the teams. A, yeah, fuck your team. God. I'm so sorry. Guys. What are you guys talking about? Yeah. He's, he brought up sports. Uh, yeah. You guys don't know anything about that. <laughs> No, I'd like to go into the locker room, though. <laughs> Joe, you're not going to go full gay, right? I don't know. Really? <laughs> Might as well. Think so. <clears throat> yeah, do the back half gay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, but uh, a penis on a woman, I'm into it. A penis on a dude, I'm not into it. I can't explain what the... It's the femininity. Yeah. I get it. It's something different about it. I don't know, you know. Yeah, go, no go, offense to any... The guy's you know. attitude, we have shitty tone. Women have nice tone. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? Like, Tommy be like, dude, let me suck your dick. It's like... <laughs> I love how you're comparing your tone to my tone. We, I mean, I We're the same fucking tone. I have shitty tone, We're two too. Do We're two we both dogs. have shit tone. We're two dogs barking in the mirror. I know. We both have shitty tone. That's where we'll never be good together. You know what? You're fucking... I mean, I'd change my tone if you wanted me to do it. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. <laughs> oh, dude. It kind of stuns you like a, yeah. like a drug. And you, can feel, you feel his beard on your earlobe? Oh, fuck, I want a dad. I want a dad. I want a dad so bad. Uh, I don't know if I could go full. Um, I don't think I could go yeah. full. I, I want to say this, yeah. though. Out of anybody at this festival, you're doing it right. Yeah. I mean, you're doing fucking drugs. You're drinking. You're fucking. You you're jerking off guys. You're getting oh, your oh, dick oh. sucked. <laughs> you're jerking off female guys. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. 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 Be, I, it is important to me. I don't even know. It's, if it's important to you now because you're part of their community. <laughs> well, also too, I want Nicole is awesome. Nicole was the woman, and she's oh, fucking Nicole. great. She's got a great sense of humor, though. She's we were, so great. She was she's at the so bonfire. Awesome. She's so great. Really? Yeah. She's a, she's yeah. Like, what's that? The girl? Yeah. She's here. Was. What do you mean she's? No, it happened on Legion of Skanks. Wait, wait, wait. He wait. did it on a podcast. <laughs> what? <laughs> it changes the game, doesn't Wait, it? you didn't know about any of this? I thought you went to, a, like, a whorehouse. No, 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 no. He was up in that room up there. What? Bring out the whore! What? <laughs> yeah. Here's the scenario, real quick. Uh, they, we were, we were doing the podcast. Women that wanted to, to compete to be the next uh, ring girl yeah. came on stage. Lewis said, what are your talents? Nicole, who I met last year, I recognized her, we waved. Yeah. And Nicole said, I can suck my own dick if it's hard. Wow. So the other girls started grabbing her dick, and she's like, it's not happening what? with a chick. Yeah. I'm into dudes. And she, she and I were kind of talking, maybe flirting a little bit. So then they said, DeRosa, you guys seem to have a connection. Would you go into a private area and see if you can get her, get her up? Whoa. And I said, uh, you know, eventually I said, yeah, let's do it. Eventually? <laughs> he went, yes. <laughs> Yeah. I, I couldn't stand up that fast because I already had a hard on. <laughs> the table flips over. Uh, <laughs> throwing drinks. No, eventually only meaning because I was making sure, like, okay, it's private. I'm definitely not going to do it, like, on the air. Yeah. And then also, too, um, uh, what was the other thing? They, they, were, they were throwing a lot of... I remember Jay was like, you got to do this. You got to do this. You gotta, and I was like, Jay... I'm about to walk through a very big door right now. Yeah. Let me just do it at my own pace, please. Yeah, that's sure. been open for a long <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm about to walk through a very big back door right yeah. now. A very small brown door. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it was, it was at the festival. Oh, wow. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. That, is she around? Can I meet her? Did yeah, you, she's, here, she's here somewhere. Did you say I, meet no, her? She, well, she yeah. won the ring girl thing. Wow, cock yeah. ring? <laughs> cock ring girl. I was asking if she was actually in the room right now. I don't want to put you on the spot, Nicole, but if you're here. I'd love to meet her. No? No, she's not here. Okay. Is there, are there any other trans girls here? There's definitely other trans women here. I heard a woo. A hundred percent. I don't know about in the room, but at the festival, hundred percent. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why I love this festival. It's 
progressive. No, it's yeah. No, you can get blown. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> Skagfest. By hot dudes. Yeah. Skagfest is weirdly progressive. <laughs> but dude, it's, it's 100. That's what yeah. this festival is. Awesome. It's everybody comes here. Yeah. yeah. It's not. We don't give a. We make fun of everybody, but everybody comes here, which is awesome. Very progressive. Not this panel, but everything else. No, Very progressive. Not this panel. <laughs> dude, yeah. Me and Sam Tripoli were walking in, and two black dudes rode up on a bike, and uh, on bicycles. And I swear to God, the guy goes, he goes, "Hey man, y'all, you're going up to that Skagfest?" And I go, "Yeah." And he goes. Can I ask you a question? I go, yeah. And he goes, is all the audience cousins? Because <laughs> y'all look like y'all fuck in your families. I mean, <laughs> this whole front row looks related. <laughs> and I, swear to I mean, it looks like the evolution <laughs> of this guy. <laughs> and I swear at one point he goes, he dropped it in. He said, because all those ends, and he goes, excuse me, crackers. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. That's it was so great. fucking funny. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. I'm telling you right now, you know me, that I go to therapy. I believe in therapy. Everybody needs somebody to talk to, somebody neutral to talk to. You can't white-knuckle life. That's the old way. Now, you need to work out your brain. Just like you go to the gym and you eat right, you need to do that with your mind. How do you do that? By talking to somebody. You need to find somebody that you connect with. And it's so easy to do now. Back in the day, you had to go into the city, wait in a lobby. Maybe you see somebody you know, kind of embarrassing. Takes up most of your day, at least three hours. Now, right online, at your house. Switch therapists whenever you want. Betterhelp.com. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash dude today. Get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dude. A good comedian can get away with a lot of things, but losing sleep isn't one of them. We got to be well-rested to be funny. That's why I am a big fan of the folks at GhostBed. They've been making high-quality mattresses with premium materials for over 20 years, so you know they'll give you a good night's sleep. Right now, listeners can get 40% off all products site-wide. You can get 40% off mattresses, adjustable bases, and bedding accessories, or get 50% off when you bundle a mattress with an adjustable base. Use promo code YKWD at ghostbed.com slash YKWD for 40% off site-wide. Limited time only. I, it is progressive, and it's weird yeah. that because I'm saying before, like at me growing up, if you did any of this shit, you were fucking, you were made fun of, oh, maybe yeah. beat up. And people, we say we haven't made fucking progress. But the fact that this festival with the funniest, meanest comics in the world that make fun of everybody, and we make fun of each other all the time, you went and did some crazy shit. And we, lo we love it. It's the best. And you don't even give a fuck. No, why would I? I love it. I love it. You're, he's the MVP of the festival. You're going to strip clubs. <laughs> You're strip clubs. Get, I mean, these drugs. Fans are the best. I mean, you're doing, dude. Me and Ari went and got fucking matzo ball soup last night. Uh, you suck. Uh, we went for a hike in the fucking desert yeah. today. That's you're sucking dick. You're getting your dick sucked. You're hanging out with strippers. You fucking get trashed. I didn't trashed. suck any dick. I didn't suck any dick. Whatever. The story's going to change. In my near the story will change by yeah. the time you get back to New York. We got one more night, baby. Yeah, sucks Joe. Sucks some dick. A tra when I lived in Austin, Texas in, in 2000, because uh, I went down there before any of these fucking assholes moved to Austin. I was in Austin. My, my agent used to make, make fun of me because I would go, I want to move to Austin. Yeah, but you did it before Joe Rogan did. I know. He was like, wait till Joe Rogan moves down there and then it'll be fine. No, but there, it's, it's awesome that they're all down there. I'm just joking. But anyway, um, <laughs> well, you saw that just in case. Well, you got to make sure you don't just, end up in a triangle chokehold. Oh, no, shit. <laughs> Look, he's texting Joe right now, you fucking, I'm gonna you get fucking him to come pussy. Over here. Put the phone down. <laughs> Have you played his club? It's great. It's great. Yeah, all right, Killer stop kissing his ass. It's yeah. great. Right. We get it. Tell the story. Um, anyway, so. What are you on the phone? Put your phone down, you fucking sorry, beard. Sorry. What are you, a 12 year old girl? Uh, Nicole's texting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so, so when I lived in Austin in 2000, uh, a uh, uh, this really hot black woman came up to me 
much like your story. It was like end of the night. I was leaving a bar. I was hammered. And she's like, hey, baby, can you give me a ride? And I go, uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm just getting a cab. We get in the cab. We're in the back seat. She's grabbing my leg. She's going, I want to suck your dick. I want to suck your dick. And as I'm talking to her, I'm like, this. And, and she wasn't a trans woman. She was a man in drag. Mm. But like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's the same fucking thing. Wait a minute. No, it's not no, the same. No. Same fucking thing. One is tr- one's trying and one's not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, once. You know, yo, yo, once motherfucker, hungover. you give me a ride, Back, bitch. Well, I mean, maybe, that's maybe different. A dude in drag is just a hungover train. Dude, it's God. just like fuck it. Nah, Let's dude. put the wig there's on. A, there's a difference <laughs> Let's between get out Tracy there. Morgan going, I want to suck that dick. That was pretty good. That was, Tell Dan, that was pretty good. That was 2000. That is before identify. I identify as. That's gay. No, it was. But, what? But there was a difference where they'd be like, that's a, because now uh, a, a, a pre-op person could dress and drag and say, no, I am a woman. That's how I identify. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't a thing in 2000. It was like, no, that's an actual trans person. Yeah. That's a person in drag. Yeah. That's this, that's that. They had all the, anyway, it doesn't matter. I realized, maybe she did, whatever. But I realized, I, 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 was, I was like, I can't, I'm not ready. <laughs> you, you opened up to a I'm not ready. No, black trans. <laughs> Give me a week. Bitch, I said suck your dick. I'm not your therapist, motherfucker. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. to get by a dude in a fucking... In a week. She, she, she had a funny thing she did at the end of it. She said, motherfucker. She said, too, she goes, she goes, so what do you say? I go, I- I'm really sorry. You're really nice. I, I don't know if this is my thing. And she goes, what, trans? And I go, yeah. And she goes, it's okay. I wish you well. Kind of That's a nice trans. Yeah. It's a nice this story. Yeah, she was really sweet. And she yeah. held a knife to your throat and took your said, wallet. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then she, as she walked into the sunset, she turned around and said, when you're ready, a dick will be waiting for you. <laughs> she walked into the sunset and just beat off in her hand like, hey. Yeah. And she stole your phone. <laughs> <laughs> You never hooked up with a guy, Bob? Uh, nah, I jerked <laughs> off my friend back in the day. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a known Opie and Anthony story. Back in the day. You know, but when I was, when you're a kid, when you don't even know what a dick is. You know what I mean? When no, you're you know. Sh- yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah, Feel you like know, you the know. circle jerk thing. You know what I mean? Oh, nope. wow. And why am I getting more Italian when I'm trying? Nah, you know, <laughs> the fuck is, you grab your friend's hog and you fucking yeah for shits and giggles, right? <laughs> yeah, we used to do the jerk off in the same room. You guys, yeah, you put the porn on. I did that thing where you jerk off. One guy's playing the guitar, the other guy has a flute. Oh damn! You watch an ET in the background. Yeah, just jerking each other off. <laughs> but wait, you would sit with your guy, your guy friends and say, "All of you got your dicks out." No, you know, like a blanket going. And none, of, and that wasn't. I'm not saying it's weird. I'm just saying, you, but you didn't feel like this is a little... No, it was bonding. I wouldn't be able to get my dick up. <laughs> What'd you say? You could get it up. I don't think you're, so. You're, you're Joe, like I'm 11. With you. <laughs> you had ugly <laughs> friends, wild. though. It's crazy. <laughs> I hear so many friends say, like, stories of, like, just hanging out with their buddies, just beating off. Yeah. You didn't in do the that? the same room. No. Right. Really? That's crazy. No, you did it in your 30s, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> we did it when Essentially, we Essentially, that's what we're doing right now. We're just beating each other off. <laughs> but no, back when you're a kid, it's very normal when you don't know what no, sex is. No, it's not, is. dude. It's a hundred percent. The stories I hear... Raise your hand if you fucking did a circle jerk back in the day. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, there fuck we go. You. All right. Fuck you. We got one. Two. You fucking jerked your friend off yesterday. <laughs> There's no way you didn't touch your friend's dick, dude. Stand up and turn around. Yeah, you have. <laughs> That's a hot yeah, girl you right have. there. We're, uh, how this? We're going to all give yeah. you tonight. It's going to happen yeah. tonight. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to shave that beard. It's one of, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite ever Dennis Miller jokes. He used to have a joke where he goes, he goes, Izzy Stratlin kicked out of Guns N' Roses. People, what in the fuck do you have to do? to get kicked out of guns and fucking roses. And he goes, hey guys, let's take a pause on the circle jerk. We gotta throw the vote in on Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. So funny. No, when you're a kid, before you know what sex is, you fucking wind up uh, playing with your dinglings. Yeah. I used to play a, I used to play a game with my friend called Ding Dong. 
Uh oh. Joe, I love you wait, 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 so wait. much. Yeah. I love that he's slowly Hold on. letting it all out. Look at he's leaving because he jerked somebody off. He's uncomfortable. <laughs> he's running to the bathroom. Yeah, he's running back out of Grumsy. What's Ding Dong? So Ding Dong is me and my buddy would play it. We were about six. Uh, one of us would lay on the couch. The other one would walk up and go, ding dong, like he was ringing the doorbell. The, you'd get off the couch, you'd answer the door, you go, hi, you're my date. And then we would both lay on the couch together. This is the Whoa, gayest we... story yet. This is way gayer than the this trans This is insane. Blow job. This the is fact the that you didn't start with this show. This is the gayest thing I've ever I heard. I had to say I had sex with you could accidental swallow. transsexual. This is so gay. You can swallow Run it from the top. I want to hear this again. You guys molested That's each other. That's so insane. Ding dong, you're role never, playing? You were molested by a six year old. <laughs> you're role playing with your 13 year old fucking this shorts. Is horrific. We never touched because each other. We just held each other but with full boners. What the fuck? Dude, it's gay. That yeah. is. I didn't say it wasn't. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? The play Rent? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is. <laughs> I told that. I told that joke. <laughs> so Ding fun. dong! You're, you're you're acting shit out. And they act. <laughs> okay. Next gang fest, we're gonna do that. Next year, we're playing Ding Dude. Dong on stage. Yeah, uh, the Ding Dong tent. Wait, why do we gotta wait till next year? Why don't we do it right now? Good. Let me tell you something right now. You know, the only way it. I'm getting hard is you bring Nicole in here. Yeah. Hell yeah. I told that on Carson Daly. I did stand up on Carson Daly and I told a joke about Jeez, the Ding Dong. Quit bragging. <laughs> yeah. How bad was Carson Daly? Did you bomb? Second time I struggled. Probably because of that story. <laughs> first time I did really well, though. I bombed. The first time I was on, I bombed so bad. And the second time I was on, I bombed in front of the Bacon Brothers, which Whoa. sucked. Kevin? Yeah, Kevin and his dumb brother. Oh, shit. I, I, and uh, I remember I. The first time I bombed, I was bombing so bad, I had a, cor I had a cordless microphone and I kept going like this. Because... Because <laughs> you thought it was your friend's dick. <laughs> Ding dong. No, because you know... <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> when you're on stage and you have the mic, yeah. you know, anytime I was nervous, <laughs> I would do this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have the mic, but it was a cordless mic, so I just kept doing this. Whoa. So I got off stage and my agent was like, what the fuck was this? And I was like, I don't know, I was nervous, I was bombing. And then we went to the cellar and we were watching it, it was on TV, they were all like, you know, everybody's like, oh, Bobby was on. And I was like, fuck. Oh no. But they had the volume off. And I was next to Steve Burns and I was watching it and the closed caption guy on the first joke wrote, light laughter. Ah! <laughs> Steve, Steve was like, you bombed, huh? I was like, oh, that's an album title right there. That is. That's a good title. That's great. Yeah. That's a good title. Even Light the closed left. caption guy was like, this guy stinks. <laughs> that's a nice t-shirt for me next time. Oh, week. fuck me. The, the second time I was on, I am not kidding, Fiona Apple, when she put out the second album. She was hot. She put out that second album, she disappeared. It might have been the third album, but she disappeared for like two fucking years. Yeah. It was like the queen of my emotions and I'm depressed and all that shit. I went on Carson Daly, they go, we're doing a double episode with Fiona Apple to announce her comeback and her new album where she's gonna talk about all she's been through emotionally. And then That's we're just fun. gonna tape your set. And I was like, are uh -huh. you fucking kidding me? So it was Fiona Apple's audience, and then I went out, and I was like, God, I played a just boner strange. game with my friend when I was six. Yeah. <laughs> and that show would suck, because it was more about the music. Oh. Yeah. So he was such an MTV guy, he had these fucking obscure bands on, yeah. you know, the fucking Ding Dong Twins, <laughs> and these, the whole fan would show up for that band, right. and then they'd have no warm up. He'd do a long form interview with an actor that just, you know, those are fucking fun. And, uh, and then they just bring you out. Nothing, no warm up, and you'd have to come out and do stand up. Ugh. And they're just looking at you like, we did, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. It's I mean, shocking. Where this, is he now? He's gonna be playing here in a year. He's on the morning show. Yeah, he does morning. He does mornings. Oh, he does? I think he replaced, yeah. uh, who was the guy with the remote control? Matt Lauer. Matt I think Lauer. he might have replaced Lauer. Whoa. Uh, he's on one of those shows. Don't you miss those days where there were fucking just men locking doors? <laughs> 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 Remember that? Remember the Kennedy days? Where they oh, just, 
yeah. just fuck you and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, you missed that, right? Hey, I got this guy holding your hand. Stop touching each other, would you? Uh, assholes. Look how high that guy is. Holy what, shit. That guy? Yeah, wow, you are high. You're so high, your, your lady's Asian. Your eyes look like hers. <laughs> I thought Joe said hot. He ain't bad. <laughs> Easy, big fella. Have you, have you uh, ever bombed on TV? Uh, He's I never been on TV. <laughs> now, have you been on TV? I don't have enough opportunity. What? <laughs> Maybe one day, Bob. <laughs> I'm bobbing right now. I'm bobbing, right, bobbing right now. No. No. Mark, have you ever bombed on TV? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I did the Tonight Show during COVID. So I did it on the Staten Island Ferry. And man, did I die. <laughs> I mean, you know, the wind's in your face. And you're performing for, like, the crew. And they all hate you. It's a bunch of mooks from Staten Island. Right. You know? So they're like, who the fuck's this? Give yeah. us Sebastian. Where are the Jokers? Yeah. 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 I'm all the bread. Yeah. The wind is crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. It's so I died, like... and that, that went on air. That, that televised. It was Why bad. was it on the ferry? <laughs> because you couldn't go indoors. So they were oh. like, what if you do it here? And I was like, that sounds great. And the worst part is you bombed, and you're on a boat. There was nowhere to go. <laughs> yes. It my, was rough. One way to my go. favorite television bomb to watch was the Colin Quinn Let's Perform in Front of the Water special. Oh. <laughs> that was during, oh, one man. after the next, just going down in well, flames. <laughs> because during COVID, we're such desperate assholes to be, yep. you know, get our accolades yeah. like us. So they did this uh, a drive in, not even a drive in, I guess, whatever it is, in Brooklyn, where everybody had to stay in their cars. <laughs> the audience was in their cars. So if the joke worked, you got a horn. <laughs> if they really liked it, <laughs> windshield wipers. That was like the applause break. Right. It was the windshield Sometimes wipers. Sometimes you get the squirt jizz. But the thing is, they started during the day. So here you are, and your backdrop was the Manhattan oh, fuck yes. you wow skyline. I forgot. So people were just like looking at boats oh going by. While Rachel Feinstein was just up there going, hello. Oh <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, it was a bad one. Keith oh, took a hot one. Yeah, it was hard. I, I, then, I was waiting for you guys to start jumping into the fucking river during the show. That was well, rough. I felt bad for Chris DiStefano because who was hosting? Voss. Oh, Voss. And Chris uh, threw Voss, Voss under the bus onto the radio. Oh, Chris did? Chris went on the thing and they were like, yeah, they're kind of a rough set. He goes, well, fucking Voss. He threw Voss right under the bus. Yeah, no, Voss, yeah. Fuck, Voss was hosting and he, what did he do? He did something. He I fucked him on the... He... Talked with a slur? What's that, buddy? He told him to stop honking. Oh, the, he's the one who told him to do that, yeah. And then there was a boat coming by when Chris was on stage. Nah. That was going... <laughs> I was on that boat doing a set. <laughs> <laughs> the sniper. I think the best, the best story I've heard was, I think it was Billy Burr and Patrice were on Friday night videos way back in the day, and everybody was bombing on the show, and they were airing it. Fuck you. Yeah. They're airing this. They, you know, you filmed it, they filmed a ton of them, and they just air them. So they just get, they were like, fuck that. Patrice was like, so he turned, he turned his back to the camera and did wow. his whole set to the wall. <laughs> so, so they couldn't air his set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought shit. that was brilliant. It's, yeah. <clears throat> he's, here's, this is a great <laughs> Patrice being a total asshole, but awesome yeah. Yeah. Here we go. story. We were Car we, he was on stage at Caroline's, and it was, a, it was a Christmas, and it was like, you know when like, there would only be like 30 people at Caroline's and it was the small stage? Yeah. In that big fucking room. Yeah. Oh, it was rough. Yeah. And it was at Christmas. Half of the audience, there was only like 30 people there. It was like a Wednesday. Half of the audience was an office party. Oh. And the boss is this lady. She's got her hair up in a bun. And she's laughing at nothing. At nothing. And they have Patrice headlining this. It, it's, it was, so he starts going, this your boss? And they go, yeah. And he goes, let me tell you how this bitch likes to get fucked. <laughs> Wow. Just like Jesus Christ, right? 
He starts graphically describing it. Oh, nice. He goes, y'all see her with that bun. She lets that hair down. She has a dude wrap that around his fucking fist and pull her fucking head back like that. <laughs> it's so graphic and so intense. And then he, he's doing it and he looks up and she's staring at him and he goes, bitch, don't give me boss eyes. <laughs> Uh, I don't work for you. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Man, whatever happened to him? He's, uh, he, he, he died. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. He went the way of the black comic. There you go. <laughs> Two of my black comic friends had strokes. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Keith. Keith, yeah. Is, Keith is funny. He, his two strokes actually made him funnier. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a special coming. He's got a special coming out, and it's fucking... It annoys me... Killer. ...how funny it is. Yeah, his new shit's amazing. Yeah, and it also annoys me when he talks. Yeah. Yeah. He's like the Trump when Trump made fun of uh, retards. That's what Keith is like. He's got the twitchy hand. I, wait... I want to tell the story. I got a great Keith Robinson story. You guys uh, will love this. I told this on YKWD. Yeah. I'm going to tell it in front of the audience. Keith, my aunt, had, my aunt died a few years ago, right? Yeah. This is a great story. Are you laughing because you know this story? Yeah. Uh, my aunt died a few years ago. And I'm down in Jersey with my whole family. It, it was a really hard blow. To the, it was bad. It was really a tough one. And I was down with my family for four days doing all the funeral shit and all this stuff. Keith is calling me every day, and I'm not calling him back. But he keeps calling me, and I'm getting, like, irritated because I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to fucking... And I'm, but I'm not getting back to him. Anyway, I swear to God, we're leaving the wake, or the church, I think, and we're driving in the procession to the funeral to bury my aunt. I'm driving in the procession. My phone rings. It's Keith. I go, this motherfucker, what does he need? So I pick up, I go, Keith, Jesus Christ. And he goes, you motherfucker. When I call you, you pick up your fucking phone or you call me back, you cocksucker. And I go, really, dude, really? My aunt died. That's why I couldn't answer your calls, okay? My aunt's dead. I'm driving the, to the cemetery right now. So what do you got to say about that? And he just goes, eh, hey, your aunt always bugged me. <laughs> How do you know your aunt? Uh, what? He didn't know your aunt. No, that's just... that's funny. <laughs> that's very funny. That's great. The funniest. Those guys had some great lines. You ever heard the uh, Patrice O'Neill uh, was sitting at the cellar and Nick DiPaolo walked in, and he's like, "Hey, hey, Nick, I got to tell you, my mom is a huge fan of yours." And Nick goes, "Ah, geez, my demo's lunch ladies." <laughs> <laughs> Patrice and Nick, once, <laughs> Patrice came to the cell once and said, he was all shaken up, and he goes, Nick, Jesus Christ, I just got my blood work back. Oh, yeah. The doctor said, I have eight of the, th eight of the ten things that kill b uh, black people. Well, and Nick said, goes, was bullets in there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick, let me say something. Nick DiPaolo, one of the funniest motherfuckers. Oh, so funny, so funny. There's no... No fucking denying Nick DiPaolo how funny he is, man. Funny he guy. was doing... He was Get doing those fucking Sorry. witch fingers out of my face. I hate your long fucking witch fingers. Yeah, they smell like Nicole. He was doing a show. <laughs> yeah, this. True Nick DeBalser. Sorry. He was doing a show at Caroline. Same thing. One of those Tuesday night shows. Yeah. There's like 30 people there. It's the truncated stage. He's on stage, and there's a guy sitting literally like this. And he goes, he goes, hey, buddy. You enjoying yourself? You haven't fought my cock in your face all night? You like that? And the guy goes, not really. And he goes, yeah, I don't like it either. But God forbid they put the big stage out because the fucking Jews that run this place <laughs> have to sell an extra Diet Coke tonight. Uh, I was like, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Did Nicole give you those pants? She knows what I like. I was at... I was at, um, I, I went to Japan with uh, Colin and Nick DiPaolo. And uh, <laughs> there was this big lady running the whole thing. And she was kind of annoying. You know, USO. She, I mean, she, I mean she, God bless her, troops. But she was like, we have to go here. We have to go here. And we're, fu we're trashing each other the whole time. And Nick's fucking vicious. To the point where you sometimes get mad. He'll get you so bad, you know. Yeah. And she starts doing it to us. 
this lady starts fucking with us and busting our balls. And you just don't do that, right? So we're outside, we get to this thing in Japan, and we did the show, and we're outside, and we're talking shit about this lady. And Nick's like, this fucking, what the fuck? Who the fuck does she think she is? Fucking, you know, we, we, we bust our balls. She's giving us fucking shit, and we're all kind of saying stuff. All of a sudden, I look up, and there's a window open. I go, guys, cut it. Look up there. And we look up, and then we see two little fat feet coming down the stairs, <laughs> and it's her. Ugh. And she heard us, we, right, talking shit about her for like 20 minutes. And she comes down, she goes, guys, I'm so sorry that I overstepped my bounds. I won't do it again for the rest of the tour. I'm really, I apologize. That's I nice. shouldn't have did that. But next time, if you're going to talk about somebody, maybe don't do it under their open window. And Nick goes, yeah, there goes that fucking apology. <laughs> Me and Colin <laughs> fell in the bushes. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, we were in Montreal. We were doing the Dirty Show in Montreal, and like the fifth night of it, Nick was hosting it. I was first every night. Yeah. Nick goes on stage. It's the night they're taping it for TV, yeah. and the crowd sucks. And Nick's on stage, and he's trying to open up the show, and he's going, he's going, loosen up, you fucking dead. <laughs> it's the fucking nasty show. Read the fucking sign before you come in here, you fucking Montreal dead. <laughs> So then I go on stage, I don't have a great set. I come off stage, I'm in the green room, I'm bitching. I go, that crowd sucked, man, that crowd sucked. I was so mad, and I kept talking about it. And then Nick goes, hey, DeRosa, you wanna not pull us all into your bomb just cause you didn't do well? I go, Nick, you called them dead 12 times. And he goes, that doesn't mean I thought they were bad. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that guy, yeah. man. Yeah, it's whatever so happened to him? <laughs> he had a stroke. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, he's down in, uh, where is he? In Georgia now. He's down wow. there. Yeah, he moved down to Georgia. You ever go to his house? <laughs> Fucking Christ. No, big. Uh, yeah, big. He lived in uh, the... Coleones, Lake Taco, ta Tahoe Taco. House. Taco. I'm fucking <laughs> Fat Bob just came out. <laughs> I'm getting peckish doing this podcast. <laughs> I want to know. When I was fat, you ever talk behind my back about how fat I was? No, just to your face. <laughs> I mean, when? Are you shit-faced right now? Yes. <laughs> Damn, it's early, Fucking dude. absolutely, dude. It's four. I am wasted. It's four o'clock. Really? The fucking eagle started at 10. Oh, you yeah. have <laughs> freaking since 9 a.m. What time is it? Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> You're fucking tired. We're drinking trash. for seven hours. I thought you were fucking tired. No, I just... I forgot you were here. <laughs> Having a good time. <laughs> Having a good time, guys. All right. right dude, I'm just saying. It's me, fucking Sunday, man. It's Sunday. Well, I'm glad you came on, buddy. Oh, I'm so you. glad I found out that you fucking... You're side queer. No, it was a, it was a one... Time. We're all side queer. We're a little we all, side queer. Everybody here. Everybody's a little side queer. Also, the yeah. future... Right? The future is coming for all of you. <laughs> guys, you don't know what's coming. You're going to meet a little lady... Little dainty lady on the streets. She's gonna be hot as shit. She's gonna smell good. You're gonna take her home. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm what, are you writing more? a fucking Harlequin? <laughs> you don't wanna fuck a guy, you wanna fall in love with one. No, I'm saying you'll, you'll be, <laughs> there's a chance you'll be just enough fucked up. You'll take her home, cause she looks different, right? You make a mistake, you find out it's not what you thought. The problem is, you go, let's finish. Why do you do that? Because you're a man. Because I'm a fucking That's what man. men do. That's what men we do. We fucking finish, they finish when we start. on other men. Doesn't matter. Men finish on other men. So all you guys in here tonight, you go suck each other off. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to play person. ding dong at the circuit tonight. <laughs> Who's in? <laughs> We should, we should play one round of Ding Dong. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Are you and Tommy right now? I'll go ahead. Let's play Ding Dong with you. Let's right. go. So do you, you, I, I'm trying to think who would be easier for you to play. To... <laughs> he's what the, are, he's the, the top. If it happens, if, what? what are the characters? <laughs> what are the character options? <laughs> that hurt you, fucking guinea. <laughs> <laughs> who are the characters? Yeah. We never <laughs> gave them names. We didn't write backstories for it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my fucking Samuel right Jackson. There, That's <laughs> your problem right there. Uh, no, there's the date, 
and the person whose home it is. I can't believe I'm doing this. Come on. You. But there's nowhere to lay, though. Yeah, there is. Wait, Fucking right down? here. Right on the gotta, table. No, I'm not laying down. Wait, Wait, you gotta, what? How are you going to play ding dong? <laughs> Uh, I thought you were a man. You can't play ding dong. Nah, no, you gotta fucking lay down. Lay ding down. dong's a lot of down. Come, Come on, on, lay down yeah, right yeah. here. Here, no, yeah. no, no, that's that's not gonna hold. That's not gonna hold. That'll hold, that Tommy. Hold. It's a table. It's not no, me playing no, the both game. Both of us gotta lay down. It's gonna break. Oh, you're both laying down. Yeah. What the fuck? We'll do is it standing up. I'll Wait, show you. hold on. Right, do it standing up. Go ahead. I'll show you. Watch. Okay. Okay. Listen. Ding dong. Ding dong. Is the ding dong when the penises touch? No, the, it's the sound of the doorbell. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't we, get the we were, point. We, we, it was a very layered game. We, we didn't realize how, how well written it was. It was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to be the date. Okay. No, you're the date. So. <laughs> can, I be, can I be the Foley guy Wait, doing the, the ding dong? So what? what hold on, hold on. Oh, you got to do the ding dong. So this is a... I'm going to go over here with fucking this straight is, mark. Yeah, you your, there you, you go. You and your boys <laughs> are having a... How do you win this? <laughs> I don't get it. Whoever comes first. Yeah, I guess so. I gotta be honest, Mark, it's the kind of game where everybody's a winner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Except me. So I'm you just me. you're the you're uh, you're you're coming to my house. You're the <laughs> date, just just walk up and go ding dong. All right. And really mean it, Tommy. I want you to really really bring yeah, it. Really get into this, T. Now uh, pretend this is a love seat. And I'd be laying like this. Pretend. <laughs> yeah. I'll be good. All right, Tom. Here we go. Tommy. Tommy, what what are you pushing deep down inside of you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm pushing down the ding-dong. sucked on that like it was a Slurpee. Do you think this is fucking easy, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> There's a room full of guys. I love he's busting my balls. He's like, just come up here and lay down and be gay. <laughs> In front of fucking 300 strangers. What are you hiding? <laughs> so fucking easy, Joe. Ding dong! No, no, no. It's too aggressive. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too aggressive. Is right. there a ring camera? No, or is that, is that part no, of it? I agree. It's the 90s. Oh, it's the 90s. Okay, okay. I agree. That was the 80s. Ready? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. All right, I'll see you, Dad. You pick me up at, like, 3? Have a good night, son. Tommy. Don't forget, don't touch any dicks. Shut up, Dad! <laughs> no, you're a woman. That was his woman voice that he remembers. Can you not be a Ginzo for three seconds? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got fucking balls. Uh, it is wafting off of you. You should always have a, a rag guinea. over your shoulder. I'm an Irish guy <laughs> acting like a guinea. You're a Jew acting like a guinea. Arab. Let me ring Arab, the fucking Arab. bell. Jesus Christ, I gotta start all over. Uh, Soft, Tommy. It's Ready a cut. <laughs> boom, boom. No, you have to say ding dong. It's ding dong. Uh, the game's uh, uh, ding, ding dong. dong. You, you uh. fucking dumb dumb. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is the weirdest. Podcast. I used to have a real job. I used to get money. <laughs> ding dong. I stand up. Hi, I'm hey. excited for our date. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the gayest thing I've ever seen. This is so gay. I don't understand the point. What is the, what? What, how do you? Do you see how much effort I put into that? And he does this. Tommy, you're doing fucking great. That's crazy. Dude, you're doing good. He's not a dumb You're showing up. You're not showing up. I'm showing up big time. Joe, you're not that. staying in character. I had act outs. This motherfucker Let's did go. nothing. Come on. Do the ding dong again. All right, well, so what's? From the top. Okay. No, From the top. Me. Okay, <laughs> but I gotta lead you to the love seat. <laughs> so ring, ring the Joe, bell. We're running out of cord here, dude. <laughs> we're running out of cord. The love seat's gotta be over there. No, you got plenty of cord. Uh, <laughs> you could have some more. in Two seconds. All right, here, all right, there you Please go. take me out of this fucking place. Here, ready? Let's just walk out. How does it end? <laughs> I don't get the punchline. I hope it ends by one of them second. If we just leave, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back Sorry to one. about this. I didn't want this. I didn't you, act like I wanted you this. Back in, Tommy. You're doing good, kid. You got it. I feel you like I'm it. doing it. You're right. fucking rocking All right. this. All right, just walk up and ding, ring the bell again. <laughs> Bye, Tom. Ding dong. 
Hi. Hey. I'm like, no, this is how it's fucking played, Tom. Oh my <laughs> Jesus. Joe. Oh my Joe. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, Joe, Dude, stop dude. laughing. That was. Joe's a fucking abuser. <laughs> Nuts. Oh, yeah. It's the crazy. Fuck? I'm very gentle about the thing. Joe, Joe hit his gay friend. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, so I go, well, I'm excited for our date. Yeah, me, me too. Me too. Me too is right. <laughs> <laughs> me also. And then we would lay on the, and then we would lay down. No, 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 stop backing away. We, we would lay. <laughs> My Joe, there's a Could you piano. imagine if I was dude. doing this to a female cop? We'd be done. <laughs> this, oh, yeah. This is, this is Chris yeah. D'Elia's special. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway. I didn't mean that. Hey, there's a piano right behind you. <laughs> yeah. You could lie on that. No, like, no, no, no. Like no, no. Liberace, you queer. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd come to the love seat and we'd lay like this. Hold still. Because we're laying. <laughs> Stop. We're laying. There's nowhere to go. It's so funny you're wearing a shirt no. that says, I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that ding dong? That's ding dong. Ah, that give ding it up. Dong. Ah, that was the most uncomfortable of things I think I've seen at Skankfest. Yeah, that was And weird. I saw Jay stick a gun in Lewis's asshole. <laughs> you guys, give it up. That's it right there. Give it for Mark Norman, Tommy Pope, Joe DeRosa, Mark Gay. You guys are the best fans in the world. Hope you guys are having fun at the festival. We'll see you next time. You know what? Do podcast. Take care. to YKWD Podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.